Well, welcome to our study as we continue our lessons around Christmas. And uh, next week, as you know, is our Christmas week. From today to Sunday, I'll be focusing my teaching on Joseph, uh, Jesus' foster father, the man that God entrusted his son to. And we start with Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 19. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. So what do you do when someone you truly love does something you truly hate? And that's what happened to uh, Joseph. The woman she loved is found with child, and it is a traumatic experience for her. It's obvious that uh, Joseph was in love with Mary. Uh, they had gone through the process leading to marriage. This is the betrothal uh, process, uh, which is in between uh, engagement and marriage. And at this point, they are more husband and wife, but they haven't come together as husband and wife. And uh, now Joseph discovers to the shock of his life that this woman he loves and intends to spend the rest of his life with is pregnant. And he has no way of determining what we know uh, later in the story, that this is the work of the Holy Spirit. He has no way of knowing. He just knows, I have been betrayed. So how would you have acted if you were in Joseph's situation? And how do you act when somebody you love and care for and think so highly of does something that you think so lowly of? And, and, and they do something that really wounds your soul. And that's what we learn from Joseph. Uh, normally when people feel hurt, uh, they, they react in vengeance, they revenge, and sometimes they want to inflict pain on the person who caused their hurt. Other people go to the extreme, they withdraw, they don't want to have anything to do with the person, and they just go in and nurse their pain quietly. Joseph did not do any of these. He didn't seek for vengeance, neither did he avoid the problem. He decided he was going to deal with the issue, but deal with it in a right manner. And he had two options. The options he had, first it was that he had to go and report Mary to the Jewish council to, in the synagogue, and then she would be judged, and most likely she would be stoned to death. So that's one way. And that would be a just punishment, and, and Joseph would probably feel, uh, this is what happens to people who betray me. And then he had the other option, uh, which also was permitted, uh, that she could handle this quietly. And so he decided to handle this quietly. He will face the problem, he will annul the, the marriage, uh, but he would not disgrace the woman. So that's what he decided. I will annul the marriage, I will not disgrace the woman. And the interesting thing is how the Bible describes Joseph as a just man. So his character, his compassion uh, was clear. And I believe that God knew who Joseph was, and that's why he chose him for this very, very delicate situation in the process of bringing us the Messiah. Joseph had the right spiritual, mental, and emotional upbringing or approach to handle this delicate manner. And we, we learn from Joseph that sometimes you can be legally right. You can have your case right, but you can still act with mercy and with compassion and with grace. So for each one of us who think we have a case, our case is right, somebody has offended us, we want our pound of flesh, we want to exact the, the maximum pain on the person who inflicted pain on us. Just look at Joseph. He had the right to do it, but he decided, I'm going to do what the law says, but I'm going to do it with mercy, and I'm going to do it with grace. And may the Lord help us as we reflect on this Christmas uh, period uh, to be like this just man. We can be right, do the right thing, but do it with mercy 
and with grace. Let's pray. Say it with me, Heavenly Father, show me what to do when I'm deeply hurt. Give me the strength to act virtuously when I feel offended. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May we all be called just men and women in our relationship with one another. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.